This is Codador. Let's see what we got here. All right. So we are on bubble five, milestone four. All right. Categorize the stress level based on the user's reported stress. Okay. Let's see where we're doing this. We're on milestone four. Oh, and they added some stuff here for us. Okay. So stress level is what we're going to need for users who rate stress, who rate stress at seven or higher stress level should have a value of high. Okay, so first off, guys, you need to make sure here at the tip top, you have stress is equal to get number stress drop down. What the heck is that, you say? Good question. If I hover over here, you notice this little number one here, it's a stress drop. If you want to see the whole thing, I can go over to design and click. That's the stress drop down. So on the event that I click the suggest button, which is the idea of this, this program executes. What happens right away? Well, our stress variable gets assigned a value. What value? We say, hey, computer, go get a number. Number from where? Well, the stress drop down. It uses that to grab this number and assign it to stress. So stress will be equal to whatever that number is. Now they want us to do stuff to it. We don't want to leave this as true, right? Because if true, we'll always execute. We are asking a question. We need to know greater than or less than. So let me go over here. I often use the box. It prevents me from making mistakes, which I'm really good at. So if what is greater than seven? Well, up here, the variable is just called stress. So if stress is greater than or equal to seven, stress level is a string. And that's somewhere up here too. We are going to give that the value of high, the word. Don't delete these quotes. These quotes signify that this is a string value and not a variable. And when I say string, it's fancy programmer talk for a word. Else if, um, for those who rate their stress for through six interesting so that's inclusive so let's go ahead and go <clears throat> greater than or equal to and boop we had to give quotes for no reason that's fine parentheses greater than or equal to stress and that value is going to be a four now if it's greater then or equal to four, we're going to give it the value of, all right. And then for all others, assign, assign a stress level of low, low. So else will be our low. Okay. So let's run through what is actually occurring here real quick. So if stress is greater than or equal to seven, stress level is always going to be equal to high else. Now, remember this stuff only can run. This stuff here will never, ever should I use a different color? Oh, well, ever, ever, ever run if this first thing is true. So if stress equals, wow, you can't read that at all. If stress equals eight, stress level will equal to high. The rest of this never runs. Now, let's say stress is actually equal to five. So is stress greater than or equal to seven? No, that would be false in that scenario. So this stuff never can run. And what's going to run next is this line. And we ask the question else if stress is greater than or equal to four. Well, five is greater than or equal to four. So this runs and then it never runs this stuff. So what you have here, that means is since everything greater or equal to seven is caught here, by the time we get here, the only numbers that will ever be down here is six through four will make this be true. And then everything else will go to the bottom because the order. If we mix up this order, it's not going to work. If we check for if it's greater than, uh, if stress is greater than or equal to four up here, well then if it's nine, it will be set to medium because we didn't check for greater than seven down here. We just need to make sure that order works. Let's go ahead and test this out. And if we want to watch her, we can add one here. And notice stress is at three. And then if we want to know what stress level is equal to, because we're not displaying it yet, low, which is what we would want. Suggest, we have to hit suggest high. And boom, that's all looking good. Onward.